Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's Adam here. So, uh, as you can see, this is some <laughs> very naked bike. Sorry about that. It's just, um, I got a lot going on right now, but when I install new things that have never been recorded before, I shoot some video. So we have the tripod out, we have the gimbal out. Um, as you can see, I've already put on the um, SW Motec mirror extenders. This is a separate video recorded back in like February on the old bike. So if you're interested in these, check them out. They're great though. I've got very wide shoulders. Uh, that's not an exaggeration. They are like rugby football player wide. Um, when I'm at my skinniest, I still weigh 200 pounds. So, um, so big guy, super big guy. And uh, these are great because they let me kind of put the mirror past me so I have my shoulders, clears my shoulders basically so I can get a good view. Totally fine to put the OEM mirrors on these, absolutely fine. But in today's video, what we're doing is we're gonna be installing the uh, TuraTech Adventure uh, rear view mirror. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the double take mirrors. On my 09 and my 17 GS, I ran double take mirrors. And a lot of people who watch those videos, those install videos said, hey man, you really gotta try the TuraTech mirrors. They're cheaper, they're better built, and they're uh, a lot of fun. So I thought, okay, fine, new bike. We're gonna try out your new mirrors here. So uh, this isn't really an install video because, I mean, shit, it's, it's an effing mirror, but um, let's pull out the instructions. Hello. <laughs> here it is. All right, so we got, as usual, I put the instructions up because I like to have you guys, if you want to pause it to get an idea of what of what's going on here. We have an Italian logo, so I'm guessing Smart Nord is a, an Italian company. So you can pause this if you'd like to. Let's go to page two. Again. So, as usual, Tourtech doesn't have shit to do with these mirrors. Another company makes them and Tourtech puts them in a box with their logo on it. Fuckers. I mean, seriously, I'm sorry. Like, uh, hi, Tourtech. I'm sorry, but come on, guys. I mean, you're a design company. Why don't you own up to the fact that you don't build shit and you design stuff and then someone else builds it for you? You're like a, you're, you're like the uh, Iaco, whatever that Chinese eBay is of, of R1200GS stuff. I mean, most of the Tortec stuff has been reverse engineered by the Chinese anyway. And it's way cheaper on eBay. Um, sorry, just come on. I mean, attractive shocks are branded Tortec. Uh, all the stuff on your website is like not even made by you. It's just, sorry, I, I know. I, I know that you guys probably watch the channel, but... You know, and then let me rant for a second. I have a four hundred dollar Touratech USA um, tank bag. Well, shipped and sold by Touratech USA. It's made by another company out of like Germany, like Conco or Camco or something. This, this I should probably go to the video on me for a second. Sorry. If you go to the German the Touratech.de website and you look at this dry bag or this this tank bag, sorry. Um, it's like 150 euros. And it's made by another company where you can buy their tank bag for like 125 euros. But they don't sell a GS tank bag because Touratech basically bought the exclusive rights to sell that tank bag branded with Touratech on it. Then you add in the Touratech USA, which is a subsidiary of Touratech. They're wholly owned. They are off in the US. Um, they import the 125 euro tank bag, which Touratech Germany wants to sell for like 150 or 200. And they step, slap a $386 sticker on it and say, okay, this is now a $400 tank bag with shipping. And then I wrote them and I said, hey, I own your $400 tank bag. By the way, just going to add this. Uh, I know. I know this is a dick move. Here's a video of my crash and here's how well your final drive guard and your sliders held up. They protected my final drive. I appreciate it. Good job. They said, glad that the system worked out for you. Uh, and I said, and I added that, I said, well, here's the problem. I need to replace the um, the Velcro loops at the front and the top, of the front and the bottom of the, of the, the tank bag connector, basically. And they said, well, it's not on our website, but the cost is $35. And shipping is also $35. So you might as well buy something else on our website to make shipping worth it to you. Now, I've spent over the last two years, I guess now about 30 grand on our 1200 GS accessories. And pardon this rant, I know this is totally, you guys came here for a mirror review, I'm sorry. 
And the fact that Toratech uh, is the only company I've ever worked with who when you email them looking for a spare part, a replacement bolt, uh, same thing happened with the final drive guard. I bought it used from someone else. They didn't include the bolt. I'm sorry, I gotta show this to you guys. Um, I bought a final drive guard from someone and they forgot to include the piece here that actually hooks it up to the rear. It's not installed, this is just the stock guard. So I went to Tour Tech and I said, hey, I just need to be buy this bolt. And they said, well, we don't sell that. Okay, what can I do? And they said, well, we've got a $70 final drive slider we can put right here and that'll hold your $249 final drive guard in. And I said, sure, I was gonna buy one anyway. So sure, that sounds good. That was where I should have like understood how they work. Most companies, Adventure Rider, Adventure Designs, Clearwater, um, uh, uh, Tech Spec, Adventure Motorrad, Beaumont, SW Motec, uh, Black Dog Cycle Works, they will sell you individual bolts for like a buck. They'll put them in an envelope for you for 90, 95 cents and sell it and, and ship it to you. But Touratech said to me that the um, that piece that connects the upper uh, triple tree to the tank bag and the bottom piece that connects the uh, the mount here up to the bottom of the tank bag is thirty five dollars, no problem. But shipping is only thirty five dollars. That's because they're not thinking outside of the box. That's because they're they there's no way it costs thirty five dollars to ship that. And most companies would say, hey, you already bought a four hundred fucking dollar tank bag from us that really costs 100 euros on the original manufacturer's website. Here, here's a free connector for your $400 effing tank bag. But no, they say it's gonna be $70 because of the part and the shipping. This was a long, off-topic thing, but seriously, Toratech, you can screw yourselves. Toratech USA specifically, not the German arm, but the USA arm, if they filed for bankruptcy and went under, I wouldn't give a shit. Okay, back to the install. But seriously, Toratech makes great products. Okay, so we have our, um, our mirror right here. So I would assume this is gonna have the exact same thread pattern as the BMW one, which is mirrored on the SW Motec. Let's hope so. Let's get this off right in the right spot there. There we go. So I would assume that we can just slide this right on. All right, it works, thank goodness. Oh, actually, crap, hold on. I need to... Uh, Make sure I have the right thing here. One second. I hope that we can just simply keep this on this thread and loosen this up. There we go. Pop that out and tighten it back up. Then we can simply turn this bottom piece here Well, that's loose there though. There we go. So can we hit this just by itself there? Yeah, there we go. All right, pretty good. Now this moves, as you can see this moves. Um, a T30 in there, we'll tighten that right up if you want it. So we'll get it where it wants to, we want it to be. Then tighten down a little bit and then you've got a pretty stable thing. You can still click it if you want to. Um, this, this does not bend. Yeah, this piece here does not turn. So unlike the BMW mirror, so you've got up or down, then you've got in or out, depending on where you want to set this here. Um, but, you know, let's bring the OEM mirror back in for size comparison. So the OEM mirror is uh, definitely larger. Has a little extra bit there. But for me, I think the SW Motec extender here is actually gonna help me a lot. So I'm gonna keep this on, I think. Uh, I'll keep the OEM mirrors, obviously. And then if, um, let's get a better view here. And if, if this ends up vibrating a lot, if this vibrates a lot, then, uh, there we go, hi guys, um, then I'll end up uh, taking it off.
selling it or something. Because definitely Toratech won't take it back. We know that. Hey, guys, I feel really bad with the rant. I'm sure Toratech will see this and they'll, they'll send me an email or something. But, you know, this isn't me being some weird BMW GS celebrity. This is me just being a consumer. And they just always sort of treated me like, kind of like shit, <laughs> to be honest. Toratech Germany is fine. I have no problem with them. We know they're a design company. We know they just take other people's designs and buy the rights to them and put their name on them. Um, Toratech USA, on the other hand, I can give a fuck about because they're just a bunch of people in Seattle that uh, run a web shop, basically. A web shop with exclusive access to sell Toratech stuff in the US. And um, they just don't really care about us. Um, they really don't care about formulations with the customers. And, you know, I think I've probably given them given tour tech in general five six seven grand of my money i'm just another person on their website and uh if you gave seven grand to any other company that making our 1200 gs accessories they would at least pick up the phone and give you the time of day and acknowledge the fact by saying thanks for being a value customer um but anyway sorry if, i'm sorry if this turned into a 15 minute video these are pretty cool uh, I'll try them out if they are. I mean, given how this is here, they might be. They might end up being vibe happy. We'll try them out. We'll see how they go. But I do like the fact that you can tuck them in though when you're off road. But you can do the double takes as well. So there's really nothing, nothing gain there. All right, guys. Ride safe. Thanks for watching. This is supposed to be a review video. I'm sorry it's turning into a brand video. I I feel bad about that, but <laughs> had to get this off my chest. <laughs> and there's lots more Toyota Tech stuff to install that I've paid full price for that'll be coming in future videos. Rock on, ride safe, take care of you guys. Later.